just outside the sprawling urban expanses of northeastern United States lies the lonesome and dissonant territory of the Eastern Gray Squirrel. What used to be a thriving community of commerce in the days of antiquity is now nothing more than a barren wasteland nestled among conifers, maples, and herbaceous perennials. Little is known about these ancient peoples. Only their stone structures remain as a testament to their ingenuity and mastery of a land now so inhospitable to humans. We believe through their carvings and cuneiforms that the squirrels inhabiting this region were referred to as skioros, meaning shadow-tailed. Like their human predecessors, the squirrel is a clever and persistent creature, posting sentries at key points, standing by to alert the community of potential threats. Squirrels are omnivores, however, generally feed on seeds, nuts, fungi, and insects, occasionally feasting on the hearty meat provided by neighboring vertebrates. Farmers living on the fringes of society have reported livestock falling prey to these unlikely, but efficient killers. Still, the eastern gray squirrel is most likely to populate areas which provide sufficient sustenance to be collected during the day and stowed away through the winter. This particular plot is furnished with an aborivum. These naturally occurring seed geysers produce enough food for a squirrel community three times the size of this one. As such, it is a highly coveted commodity a point of contention between the squirrels and the various birds of paradise that it attracts, such as this cardinal, a natural enemy to the squirrel. However, at certain times, differences must be set aside in exchange for mutual self-preservation. For the first time, our camera crews captured this rarely seen event on film. Cardinal and squirrel dining together under the aborivum. <laughs> 